Today we take a look at the Xbox 360 development kit and run some software on it. No, not this one. A pre-release kit. Wait, not this one either. Instead, we're going to run a game on this. Way back in the year 2018, it finally became possible to rebuild and recreate Xbox 360 Alpha development kits because of the release of the 1529 Alpha recovery software. The Xenon kits use Apple PowerMac G5 hardware, with dual PowerPC processors running at 2.0 GHz, 512 megs of RAM, and in the case of the Alpha 2 kit, Radeon X800 XT graphics hardware. I did a short video on this back when it initially became available, showing the kit running its early dashboard and samples, along with its early original Xbox emulation compatibility. But one thing was missing, a true Xenon game to play. But that is only partially true though, as a G5 era build of Full Auto was leaked on Assembler Games in 2015 by John Lepin. And sorry for the pronunciation there. The build was found on a kit where it simply didn't belong, but with no alpha hardware truly available, it was destined to collect digital cobwebs until that changed. One would think that the release of the recovery software in 2019 would solve that, but there was still a problem. The software was simply too new. Because of the ever-changing nature of building console hardware and software, it is often the case, especially early on, that games designed for other versions of software simply don't work. So we were stuck with only the ability to play Halo and some original Xbox games. This is all about to change. Further discoveries by obscure gamers have made more software available, including at least one version, 1434, which predates the other release that should theoretically work. I was told first to install version 1332, also found, and then upgrade to 1434, so I did just that, though I'm not entirely sure it was necessary. Neither Recovery has an early version of the Blades dashboard, but that really isn't necessary. I did hit one hangup though. I previously noticed that my selected networking card wasn't working in the G5. I thought it was due to being installed in the wrong slot, but that doesn't seem to be the case, it just doesn't work. I did order another one, hopefully a working one, but in the meantime, I have a video to make. So I had two choices, see if any software could write to the early Xbox 360 file system, or burn a DVD and deal with potentially slower load times. I decided to go with the latter, the easier route, and it seems to work just fine. Before we hop into true gameplay, let's take a look at the debug menu. There we can see some options to select some different weapons, edit our car, our camera, invert the pitch, and change our music level, but that's about it. There is no menu to speak of that actually loads anyway. A file within the game itself has some other hidden options, including potentially multiplayer, so that may be worth a look in the future, but I have a video to get out. For now though, I've talked enough. Go check out Obscure Gamers, follow me on Twitter, at Borman18, and until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy this look at Full Auto, running on Xenon Alpha development hardware.